everyone and Merry Christmas! Today I'm going to be taking you on a tour around my barn which is all set up for Christmas. Over the advent calendar series that's been running for the last couple of weeks I've been gradually setting up my barn each day and today I have finally finished so I'm going to be showing you guys around it properly which I am really excited about so let's do this! So as usual the first thing I'm going to start with is my big main barn. I've sort of gone to town this year with making it look as Christmassy as possible. We've got snow on the top of the roof, fairy lights and paper chains and on the gate we have these two lovely red bows and this very um, odd wreath. <laughs> it doesn't look the best but I spent so much time crocheting this, it's just on the gate anyway. And also over here at the corner we have a medium sized Christmas tree with some pink tinsel wrapped around it. So yeah that's pretty much everything, let's head on inside. Here we are! Oh my gosh, okay, so we've got stools in here and a tack room. I'm gonna start with the tack room. So let me just move the gate out of the way. All right, so right here we have a desk with two chairs and a mini Christmas tree. On this wall here we've got bridal hooks, saddle racks and a little ladder to be able to reach the bridles. On the side wall, which is probably my favorite wall, we've got again bridal hooks, but also a shelf for helmets, two more saddle racks, a very smart looking horseshoe and three lovely pictures. And then on the front wall we've got two posters, one saying the opening times and one saying the lesson times of the barn. On the shelf below we've got a medical kit, a key and a little grooming box. And also on the wall we have a little doorbell and a plaque. And down in the corner on the floor we have a picnic basket, another grooming box and a tack cleaning set. Yeah, so that's my little tack room there. Now let's move on to the first horse stall. Okay, so in the first stall we have Katniss and she is my special tinker mare. I love Katniss, she is definitely one of my favourite horses. In the partition between two stalls here there's a big hay net. And outside it we have a shelf with a mini Christmas tree on, a nice picture. And also Mrs McGregor who is a pug and a dog bowl with a bone in. Moving on down we have another stall. This one has Firefly, the Hanoverian mare in. She's got a picture and a saddle rack and hook out the front of her stall. And also OJ, one of the farm cats. And finally, right in the back corner, we have Boomerang and she is another Tinker Mare. She has a hay net and salt lick there and another saddle rack hook and picture on the front of her stall. Now swiveling on over to the right hand side of the barn, we've got a feed room back here with lots of bags of feed, a huge feed chart on the wall, along with a cute picture of a horse drinking. And right next to the feed room we have a very small little stall for a pony or foal or something like that. It is clearly empty right now though. And on the front of that stall there's a chart with lots of different horse colours on. Moving back down to the front of the barn we have Sevi who is a thoroughbred mare. Down from her is Flame, my Hanoverian gelding. And sharing a hay net with him is Seamus, my American saddlebred gelding. Alright, that is the first barn complete, we're on a roll! We're gonna go and take a look at the arena now, so let's head on over to the right. And here we are, we've got a really fun pony agility course set up right now. We'll do out the front first though. So here we have a mounting block, a little poop scoop, a very random carrot and some riding crops. Going around the course right now, we have Sarah and she's riding Wildfire, my Arabian Stallion. They are just heading on over a little ramp here and also looking very matchy matchy. And the other rider we've got in here is Prue and she's riding Cowgirl, my Nabstrapper mare. Now Cowgirl isn't a shellac horse, she's a Papo horse. I can't remember where I got her from actually. Yep, that's all I had to say. I love the blue they're both wearing and I think they're both trying some pole bending right now. Oh, and I almost forgot, in the back corner we have a huge pine tree with loads of purple ribbon wrapped around it. So that is all for our agility course. Now I'm gonna switch sides and go to the left of the barn, where through this gate there is a big stallion's paddock. So let's head on inside. The first horse here is Boris and he is a tinker. Then we've got Fred the Clydesdale. Victory the English thoroughbred stallion. Blaze and he is a trackner. This is Jupiter and he's the other tinker. This is Prince and he is a shire. And finally Titan, who is a huge Clydesdale, and he is also a collector horse. So those are all the horses in there. To the left of the gate we've got a hay bale and little Santa decoration. I love this Santa, he's so cute. And we've also got a window into one of the stalls, so I'm going to come back to the horse looking out of it later. 
And right here, you might recognize these are the two horses that came with the advent calendars. This is Olav, and he's a Trachna foal. And this is his mum. And you may be slightly confused as to why his mum is out before I opened her in the advent calendar series. And that is because most of the series is pre recorded. So I filmed most of those episodes before they were due to come out. But I am not going to be revealing what her name is yet. That will remain unknown for the time being. So moving on, right here we have our lovely vet. Anna who's just bandaged up Pi's leg. His sibling Pumpkin is right next to him and they are both quarter horse foals. Then right here in the middle of everything we've got the huge Christmas tree. It has pink tinsel around it and lots of presents. Then moving away from that we have Scout, my Andalusian foal. And then we have the little pony carriage which is being pulled by Misty who is a Connemara mare. And sat in the carriage right now is Lila who is her owner and best friend. And on the back we have her puppy chihuahua popcorn, or pop for short, and next to him is a cupcake. They are all heading to the cafe right now, but we are going to be turning off here into this block of stables. The walkway down to it is bordered by these two mini Christmas trees with pink tinsel around them. And also above the walkway the gold star lights continue down. Then heading on down the corridor, one of the walls here has lots of pictures on it. It's very arty and I love it. Then right at the end of the corridor, it leads into a wash stall. In it right now is Jack, my lovely Welsh pony stallion, and he is waiting to be untacked. If we continue to the right, we get to these two horse stalls and another wash stall. In the first stall here, we have Maui, and he is my Lusitano stallion, and he is from the big horse show set that was released in September 2020. I just wanted to say that because I know every time he's featured in a video, there's lots of questions asking where he's from. So yes, now you know. He has a huge hay bale in his stall and also a mini Christmas tree out the front. Right next to him, we have the lovely Luna, who is a Tennessee Walker mare. She is also from the same horse show set as Maui. Yep, so they're just chilling in there. Then on this wall we've got head collar hooks and there's also a fly mask on there. But it's mainly head collars. Then in this last wash stall we have Gucci, my Rocky Mountain mare. Straight down the middle here between the two wash areas we have a second tack room. This one's got all the horse rugs in colour order of course. A stack of saddle pads, buckets and crates full of random stuff. It's also got a seating area back there with sofas and a table with a mini Christmas tree on. And then a chest full of full blankets and grooming supplies. And then right next to it, there's another crate just full of grooming brushes. If we turn to the left, there's another block of stables. So in this first one, we have Havana, my Hanoverian mare. And her foal, Sea Star. And finally next to them is Mystery, my Arabian mare. There's also another mini Christmas tree and two big fun posters on the wall back there. Now over here, we have Roxy, who is a miniature schnauzer. And we've also got Jessie, who's just putting her grooming stuff away on the side here. And here is Dude, and he is our paint horse gelding, and he's just being tacked up by Jessie, which is why his head collar's round his neck like that. She's about to put on his bridle, which is there. Also underneath the bridle, there are a couple of lead ropes. And behind Dude, there's some wheelbarrows and mucking out tools. And that is everything for that little area there. Now, directly out of the front of this stable, we have a little paddock. In it is Blossom, my Andalusian mare, and Trooper, a quarter horse gelding. And they've got a lovely supply of apples and a water bucket there. And there's also a window here in the back of the stable leading into Mystery Stall. Okay, I'm going to continue this way for now. I'm going to work my way round to the cafe area. All right, let's do this, continuing with the tour. On the corner here, we have another medium pine tree and also the battery box for the gold star lights, though just ignore that. And then right here, we have the very majestic reindeer called Dancer. She's just having a wander round. I've actually got lots of my other horses wandering around the barn too. I just think it makes the barn feel so much more magical, which is what we want for a Christmas barn tour. All right, so continuing on from Dancer, we get to our lovely caravan. It is all opened up and done out, so it can be used for Christmas parties and things like that. This campfire can actually light up. I don't know if it looks better lit or not. We've got our campfire with logs round it. I mean, I'll try it on. I don't know if that looks better or worse, I'm not gonna lie, it flashes very fast. <laughs> 
We'll just leave it on, I guess. It creates a nice atmosphere. Anyway, behind the madly flashing fire, we have a table, chairs, and on the table there's some flowers and orange juice, and a tiny little bush. To the right of that, we have another entrance to the stable block. You can see dude's butt through there. So yeah, it links around, which I really like. Then up the rope ladder onto the balcony, we have some Christmas bows. We've also got a blanket up here, which makes it nice and comfy if somebody wanted to come and stargaze. And in the corner, we've got another mini Christmas tree. Back over here by the caravan, we have Blondie, my halfling of foal, who's got a very tight coat on. He's having some carrots from Harry, who's just chilling on this rug here. Next to him are some pony treats, his beloved teddy, and some apple juice. Then we've got a tray full of cups and plates and spoons if anyone wanted to have a drink. A lantern and a random grooming brush. Then nearer the back of the caravan, we've got Lynx, and she's a Maine Coon cat. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it anyway, Maine Coon. Anyway, it doesn't matter, the point is she's there. Then behind her in the corner, we have a very plush looking L-shaped sofa with pillows and a bear on. And also in the caravan is a little side table with lots of different things on. So yeah, that's that for the caravan. Now turning to the left, we have quite a lot going on. The big tent here is actually a Christmas raffle tent. So it's got loads of fun things here you could win on the table in a raffle. Running the stand right now is Phoebe. She's actually a double of one of my other riders. So I'm probably going to end up repainting her, which I'm really excited about. Then behind her in the tent, we've got hay bales that you can sit on, a computer, and you guessed it, a tiny Christmas tree. And finally, hanging from the roof, we've got a giant bauble that kind of looks like a disco ball now I'm thinking about it. So yes, that is loads of fun. And visiting the tent right now, we have Sophia and the horse that she's leading, Mojo. And he is a lovely pinto stallion. And down here we have Ted the Terrier. And to the right of them we have some ponies and foals that are free roaming. This is Fudge, a Dartmoor pony stallion. Then we've got Brownie, my Arabian foal. Peach, my Shetland gelding. And Star, my English thoroughbred filly. And they've all come over here for the feeding station. So there's a hay and water trough. Alright, so heading on over to the other side. There's a campfire, though this one doesn't light up. A bench to sit on around the campfire and a bigger Christmas tree. We've got a hose and lots of buckets back there. A trough full of apples and a bucket that the hose is in. And we've also got lots of horses that are all flocking over to come and eat the apples. The closest horse right now is Cloudy and he's a Tinker Foal. Then he's being closely followed by Tic Tac who's a Holsteiner Foal. Then here we have Carlos and he is a Nabstropper Colt. And this guy is actually a Papo Horse. Then coming down this way we have Tango, my Pintabian Mare. Here is Autumn, my Appaloosa Mare. This is Moana, my Mustang Foal. Here is Dolly and she is my Curly Mare. Here we have Bandit and he is a Camarage Stallion. And right at the back we have Monty who is another Camarage Stallion. And his friend Ace who is a Halfling Stallion. So yeah, all of those horses are just having some fun wandering around the barn. It's probably not the most realistic thing, but I think it's just loads of fun. Which is exactly what I want. Alright, so if we swing on round here we'll get to another one of my barns. Outside it is a big pine tree with pink tinsel wrapped round. And on the other side is a lovely snowman and some horse pictures. And starting in this corner, we've got fairy lights running all the way down it. All right, so if we start heading on inside up the ramp, just leaving, we have Jenny and she's leading Millie, my Nabstrapper mare, and Governor, my Tennessee Walker colt. Yeah, so she's probably taking them to a paddock or something like that. Then in the first four small stalls here, we have lots of horses. The first one here is Zeus and he is an Andalusian stallion. This is Topthorn and he is a Frisian stallion. Then we've got Cyclone and he is also a Frisian stallion. And then right here we've got Poseidon and he is an Andalusian stallion. Oh my gosh, I just realised I put the exact same breeze either side. I can't actually believe that, that was a complete accident. <laughs> anyway, heading on down. So heading on down we've got a nice pot of plants. And a little feeder thing with a mini Christmas tree in and a trophy. Then in the stall we've got Jojo who is an Andalusian mare and she's got a big first place sash on her stall. In the corridor here we have a little storage area with some feed and sacks in. Then we've got Whirlwind who is an American saddlebred mare and also one of my favourite shellac horses. Down from her we have Hunter, the Tennessee Walker Stallion. I love this guy also and the two of them share a huge hayner in the back there. If we continue across to the left We'll get to the last big stall here that has Summer, my Shire mare in. Her hayness actually just dropped down, so I'm just going to wedge it in between the two stalls like that for now. 
I'll fix it later, it's fine. Then in the other corridor here, we have our cat area. Featuring Sergeant Tibbs. <laughs> And then his little kitten sidekick back there. Its name's Oreo, though I feel like it should be called Oreo Junior. That would be really funny. And lastly back there we've got milk and food bowls and also a bed and poster. And in the final store we have Glimmer, my Lipizzana mare, who's wearing a lovely diamond rug. In purple of course to match her braids and she's also got a hay net in there. All right, that is that for the show barn. If we follow the string of fairy lights to the left, We'll get to this big pine tree here that's covered in these ball balls. And hidden at the base of it right now are our group of squirrels. The one stood on the tree stump is called Maple. The one just behind her is called Nuts. And then this one here on the right is called Squeak. If we continue on down, we'll get to the cafe. At the front of it right now is Crystal, the quarter horse mare, and Kiki, the nabstrapper mare. I absolutely love both of these girls. The post that they're tied up to right now has water, apples, a bucket on the floor and some carrots and apples that seem to have spilled onto the floor. And if we keep on coming down, we've got the cafe sign, a little bush, miniature snowman and a plant pot. All right, heading on inside the cafe. All right, so inside here we have the guy that runs the cafe who's called Ollie. He's just getting a cupcake and a cup of tea for Abby, who is the owner of the barn. And down here is a little black mini schnauzer called Chip, who seems to have smelt the cake and come in, which is very cheeky. Then out the back here is all seating area for the cafe, which has four picnic tables in. Sat at one of them is Abigail, who's ordered two slices of pie and a drink, because she's waiting for Lila, the girl in the pony trap, to arrive. And also here we've got a Christmas tree. So that is that for the cafe. Riding past it right now, we have Lucky, who's riding Venus, and she is a thoroughbred mare. Brooke, who's riding Storm, who is a Holsteiner mare. And finally here, we've got Stacy, who's riding Cora, and she is a Frisian mare. And the last thing I'm going to show you today is the paddock attached to the cafe. At the front of it right now, we have our miniature Shetland ponies. This is Ginger Nut, and this is Patch, and this is the pony that arrived with the advent calendars, though her name will remain a secret for now. And then in this paddock, we have a huge amount going on. So right here, we have the two baby donkeys. This is Minnie, and this is Mickey. We've got Betty, the adult donkey. Then we've got our two baby goats here. This one is Coco, and this one is Chucky. And then the only horse in here is Angel, and she is the special Tennessee Walker mare. Then we've got Pixie, the Appaloosa yearling. Bubbles, the Pinto yearling. Belle, my Clydesdale foal. Pogo, the Tennessee Walker yearling. And then here we've got a little hutch. And the big orange rabbit sat in the hay is Mango. And then we've got Pepper, who is a little piglet. And Snowball, the baby rabbit. And Pinky, the pig. And last but certainly not least, here in this tie-up area we have Katie and she is a quarter horse mare and Pocahontas who is a pinto mare. Alright everyone, that is it for our barn tour. I really hope you enjoyed watching and found it inspirational or just entertaining. Have an amazing Christmas and I'll see you in my next video.